Welcome to Edison TV. Um, today we are talking to Ian Page, the chief exec of Decker Pharmaceuticals and also Anne-Francoise Nesmez, the CFO. Ian, can you give us a quick background on DECRA and its strategy, please? Uh, DECRA was originally listed in 2000 predominantly as a veterinary distributor, but a highly cash-generative veterinary distributor. We started to invest the cash from the distributor into pharmaceutical development, and we found a niche position in specialist medicines, particularly for dogs and cats and horses, in conditions that were predominantly underserved by the veterinary profession because they were difficult diseases to treat. And we've carved ourselves out now as a, a fairly large player, but in the specialist sector, with a clear focus on a number of key therapeutic specializations, such as endocrinology, dermatology, critical care, and anything horse that's internal medicine usage. So we're now a purely play veterinary pharmaceutical company since we are disposed of the veterinary distribution business that started the, the group many, many years ago. That was disposed of two years ago to create a pure specialist play. What are the key aspects of the current and growth at the moment? There are four aspects to our strategy. Portfolio focus, which is about delivering the maximum return we can out of our existing portfolio. We have a, a, a burgeoning product development pipeline. Uh, we're expanding geographically. And also, you know, we have built the business over the years by acquisition, so we do have an acquisition strategy as well. Developing the pipeline is a key part of your strategy. What progress has been made recently? Well, we had a major product launch recently, which is something called Osphos, which is a specialist product for horses to treat navicular disease. We've got great hopes for that product. Uh, we developed it uh, from a new, PA, uh, new active principal ingredient to the veterinary market a number of years ago. And initial uh, indications for that drug are, are very, very promising. We've also recently announced that we've made a submission for another canine endocrine drug, which we're branding Zycortal. So hopefully that will appear on the market within the next 12 months. And finally today, we've also announced that we've launched uh, uh, an antibiotic aerosol uh, for farm animal medicine, which will expand the portfolio there. We're constantly screening ideas. We've brought a lot of new ideas into the pipeline um, and we're expanding the depth of that pipeline to deliver results into the future. Last year you announced your expansion into Italy. What other uh, geographical development plans do you have? We've also launched in Canada uh, uh, in January of this year. We've built a team of seven people now, predominantly in sales, to, to extend our presence in that territory. We're also about to launch into Poland sometime in the next nine to ten months. Uh, we've appointed a Polish country manager to help set up the infrastructure there. And we're also screening other territories at the moment with, with a view to continuing that expansion into future years. You've reported strong half-year res results today. Can you tell us about the highlights and also the outlook for uh, 2015? In terms of the um, highlights for the half year for 2015, we had a very strong start to, to the year, driven by a good momentum, continued momentum in Europe, and a very strong performance in the US, and uh, you know, our sales growing by 11% to 100 million pounds. At the same time, our margins continue to improve, uh, and we've also had a very strong financial efficiencies at the EPS level, at the earnings per share level, which means that our earnings per share are up by 31%. So we're very pleased by the performance, uh, despite the fact that we've had a few currency headwind, which we expect to continue in the second half due to the vol volatility of the euro. Now, the outlook for 2015, uh, current trading is in line with expectations, and we, uh, we expect the momentum to continue. DECRA has historically been highly acquisitive. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about your, um, any plans that you've got in that arena? We have described that uh, M&A acquisition is a core, is part of our one of our four um, strategic pillars. And as part of the acquisition, we really have got three objectives, I would say. One is to expand our geographic footprint and potentially enter into new markets or possibly add products to our, our current portfolio, or if it was possible, add new technologies. So that's really what the type of activities we're looking at. You will also recall that we did a successful acquisition last year in the US in terms of PSPC, uh, which has brought a new a nutraceutical for joint and pain management called FICOX, and that's been successfully integrated. So we, are, we continue to look and screen candidates uh, as we progress through the year. You gave us the outlook for the rest of 2015. What about the outlook in the medium and longer term? 
So in the medium term, it's really being focused in terms of delivering our strategy, and it's delivering on the four strategic pillars, which are maximizing the revenue, the returns from our existing portfolio, importantly de delivering the pipeline, and we've talked about the, the recent product launches we're doing, and continue to refill the pipeline. It's about expanding geographically and capturing uh, the opportunity in emerging markets in the rest of the world. And finally, it's about M&A and uh, acquisition where they are relevant and make sense strategically. So really, we're focused on delivering value to the shareholders. Thank you very much, Ian and Anne-Francoise. And if you'd like any further information about Deca Pharmaceuticals, please go to the Edison website.